In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this. Huh? Sorry. This, the Model i2, a wireless gaming mouse by Glorious Gaming that has unparalleled power and precision. I don't think I've ever used the word unparalleled before. Wow. Wow. Let me just scoot this up real quick so you guys can hear me properly. Also, major shout out to EveTech for actually sending me this product so I can test it and review it for you guys. And I've actually gotten myself a better knife to do these unboxing with. I mean, it's like nothing fancy, just a normal flip knife, but definitely better than the old kitchen knives that I usually use. And a one, and a two, eh, and a three, and last but not least, four. Let me just put this away before accidents occur can i also just point out how lovely this box is by the way not just because it's like really high quality which it is but also like the whole rgb rainbow aesthetic and showcasing the mouse highly detailed back as well containing like all of the mouse's specifications button layouts everything and then of course just to top it off because you know they they, they flex in a little bit the lovely black and orange aesthetic it's just beautiful. I'm super excited, by the way, because this is like the second unboxing that I get to do this year already. And it kind of makes me feel like a kid in a candy store. Or in my case, a kid in a game store. Except back then I had energy and I could run around. Now I'm forever sleep deprived and I have to walk while screaming of joy internally. I'm just kidding, okay? I'm still athletic. Mentally. All right, but enough chit chat. Let me get to actually unboxing this bad boy so I can give you guys a breakdown of its specs. I think I'm going to just slide it out like this. Hold it at the top so nothing falls out, especially not the mouse, of course. Give you guys a better showcase there. Give it a nice slide. Ooh, okay, okay. Just put that over there. I'm guessing these are like manuals and think, bro. Bro. Oh my goodness, look at you. I'm just gonna hold this. I really don't want this thing to fall out. Look at you. Not my hands, they're not that pretty. This thing is really pretty though. All right, this is always the most part awkward part for me because I don't really know what to do with my hands, but... Oh, don't fall. This thing's a feather, literally. Wow. Okay. Okay. And obviously the bottom because it's got special plane and stuff. Wow. I don't feel like I'm holding anything, bro. I'm just going to carefully put you down there. As for this little holder that came out at the top of the box. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You get this little paper that contains a QR link as to where you can register your product. Another little paper for the side button installation guide. That is um, interesting. Another one about RGB brightness and battery life. A glorious gaming sticker because of course you have gotta have your sticker in every product. This one contains information about downloads, warranties and of course the guide for this mouse. And last but not least the actual instruction manual. As for the rest of the box you of course get your charging cable because you know you can never have enough of those. And then just under here I think you actually get some more things. More specifically accessories i don't know which ones yet but we're about to find out within the accessories you of course get your wireless dongle <laughs> dongle and last but not least you get different variations of the side panel buttons alongside a tool to remove them never seen that in my life before but <laughs> i'm excited okay hold on i have to of course just you know get the wow that is really tight in there bro what the hell bro i don't want to break you bro Okay, there we go. Dongle is out. And I gotta give this a first test, of course. Hold up, am I gonna have to charge this first? I didn't think about that before this recording. It's like really late already. Nah, I'm sure will be fine. Let's just give this a boot. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting the button. I'm getting the button. Ooh. Ooh.
ultra lightweight, ultra precise, and fully customizable. The Model i2 by Glorious Gaming is truly glorious. It weighs in at just 75 grams with a lovely ergonomic and breathable design. Two interchangeable magnetic side buttons, up to 210 hours of battery life, vibrant RGB lighting, and three methods of connection via its 2.4 gigahertz wireless receiver, Bluetooth 5.2, and direct connection with its custom USB Type-C cable. It features a 2.0 optical sensor, frictionless G-skates right out of the box, up to 26,000 dpi and 1000 hertz polling rate. It's also further customizable with the use of the Glorious Core software, allowing you to monitor battery life, freely change all of the button's functions, adjust RGB, create up to 4 dpi profiles and a whole lot more. Holy crap, I need some water after all of that. What's up? So it's been about three weeks since I initially received the Model i2, as you could clearly tell by the fact that I desperately need a haircut, which means it's time to review. But first, and like I mentioned before, this product video is sponsored by EveTech. And if you don't know what EveTech is, then I'm going to ask you to please stop being a Patrick. EveTech is a leading name in PCs and laptops, and it's one of the biggest online tech retailers in South Africa, catering to all needs, wants, and budgets. I highly recommend checking them out, as I've personally bought pretty much all of my PC upgrades from them. They're affordable and also a massive catalog. Thank you again to EveTech for sponsoring this video. Okay, now it's time to actually review. Right out of the box, I can conclude that this mouse is extremely comfortable to use. The fact that it's super lightweight and has a hollowed out breathable design puts very little strain on your wrist, which is fantastic. It also means your hands don't get all sweaty and oily on it. It did take me a little bit of time to actually get used to the feel though, because my mouse that I normally use weighs like 10 times more than this thing. No jokes, I felt that if I flick too hard, I may just end up throwing this mouse across my room on accident. Once I did manage to get used to it though, I was off to the races. I did however struggle a little bit of the side button layout. I found it to be quite uncomfortable right out of the box. It fits my hand beautifully, don't get me wrong, but I could not for the life of me with my short little thumb reach that front button nor the rear button. But not to worry because like I mentioned early on in the video, Glorious must have taken this into account because they added those customizable buttons on the side. I switched out the frontmost button for something that has a bit more reach and I switched out the rear button for something that sticks out a little more and once I did that all problems were pretty much solved. The process of switching out the buttons is also extremely easy and quick to do so plus one point to Glorious for that one. The battery life is also no joke whatsoever. I gave it a full charge on a Sunday which took about an hour and a half to do which isn't bad at all and it ended up lasting until the following Tuesday which is incredible because I used it for practically 14 to 16 hours a day. But how about the actual performance and precision of the mouse. Well, on the product box itself, Glorious actually states that this mouse is crafted for MOBA and MMO games. But you guys know me, I'm an FPS player, so I immediately took it into Counter-Strike. The input delay, if that even exists with this mouse, was so minimal that I barely noticed anything. It was also extremely precise thanks to that 2.0 optical, and I actually managed to get my first ever ace in Counter-Strike 2 using it, alongside a couple of other clips as well. I then took it over to Call of Duty, and no, not Modern Warfare, free because that game is terrible but rather black ops cold War zombies and i did this because i use a much higher sensitivity in call of duty than i do in something like counter-strike and even with this bump up in sensitivity the mouse handled beautifully although i did end up using the mouse to play a lot of genshin and I mean a lot of Genshin. The Model i2 also has one of the coolest features I've ever seen in a mouse. Matter of fact, I've never seen this on a mouse before. And that feature has to do with this front button right here. Right out of the box, this button is a DPI lock, which allows you to change your DPI whilst pressing down the button. This is fantastic for someone like me who plays on 2000 DPI. If I get into a close range engagement, the 2000 DPI is perfectly fine. However, as soon as I get a good distance away from a target, it can be a terrible thing to have. However, as soon as I press down the button, my DPI goes from 2000 to 800, making long distance engagements way, way, way easier. It also came in super useful when doing timeline editing on this video. And yes, I've used this mouse to edit its own video and pretty much every other video I've made this past three weeks. Of course, if you do not actually like this feature, you could just simply go into the Glorious Gaming software and change it alongside every other button on this mouse. And I'm not joking either, you can literally change 
change every single button's function using the software. Another great feature of this mouse is the fact that you can connect it in three different ways. The typical 2.4 gigahertz whilst gaming. If you end up forgetting your dongle at home, no worries because you could just connect it through Bluetooth. And if the battery ends up going flat, you could just plug it in and still end up using it at the same time whilst it's charging. But wait, there's more because there's a couple of extra little points that I like to make about this mouse, which I really like. The mouse has a very subtle, rough feel to it. I mean, for the most part, it's smooth. It's not something that you'd notice at all. But since the mouse has no rubber at all, this adequates for the grip. And I mean, it's not coming out of your hand whatsoever. The frictionless G skates is also a really nice touch because it makes the mouse glide so smoothly. And finally, the overall construction of the mouse is also brilliant. Like I'm not afraid of dropping it from about a foot and seeing it shatter into a million pieces. It's solid. Okay, I have not thrown it and I've not dropped it, nor am I going to do so, but I can tell it is strongly built. The auto sleep feature is also great for me and my ADD because I tend to forget things very easily. And if I forget this thing, it'll just go into sleep mode and the battery won't drain overnight or something. But of course, not all products can be perfect. And I like to be honest within my content. So here's one or two things that I don't particularly like about the mouse. The first issue I have is the actual battery life. Like I mentioned earlier, this thing lasted for over a week on continuous use, which is great because it means you don't have to charge it that often. Matter of fact, you probably only need to charge it every one or two weeks. However, you can only get the full 210 hours of battery life out of it if you're using the Bluetooth mode. And when you use the Bluetooth mode, you're restricted to only 125 hertz polling rate. So the Bluetooth mode is definitely more for work related things or playing games that don't require a lot of precision. The second point on battery life that I like to make is the RGB. The RGB on this thing is beautiful, but the reason I didn't mention it as a good thing is because it drains the battery extremely fast. In the beginning of the video when I was doing the unboxing, I pulled out a card from all of the papers that mentioned battery life and RGB. They basically state that in order to get the maximum battery life, you should either turn the RGB off or use it at around about 5%. This is what the RGB is like on 5%, which is not terrible at all. And it's obviously more of a personal preference thing. I honestly don't mind it. I don't look at my hand the entire time whilst using my mouse. So the RGB brightness doesn't really bother me. Matter of fact, it can be completely off and I'd be fine with it as long as the battery is lasting and the mouse is doing what it's supposed to. But still, for those who like a lot of RGB and for them to be really bright, the battery is probably only gonna last about a day or two. But that is really just about it and I would still end up giving this mouse a full 10 out of 10. Congratulations, Glorious Gaming. You guys have made an absolutely amazing product. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be all for today's video. I ended up putting a lot of time into this video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. If you guys did, then be sure to smash that like button down below. And whilst you're down there, if you're new to the channel and wanna see more of my content, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. It's been your boy King K though. Stay safe out there and much love. Peace.